In this video, I want to go over the Numerics Graphing Calculator. And if you found this video on YouTube, I will provide a link below the video that has a brief description and how you can use the emulator on your operating system. Now, this is not geared to any operating system. Since it works within a browser because it's an emulator or simulator, it will work on any operating system, whether it's Windows, Mac, Linux, or an Android device. But let's take a look at what the Numerics Graphing Calculator is. Numerics is an easy to use graphing calculator that has a modern design and a free online emulator or simulator. It's one of the first calculators to use Python instead of a proprietary programming language. And here's a screenshot of the calculator that I've used on my computer that uses the Vivaldi browser. And it doesn't necessarily have to use the Vivaldi browser. You can use it though in any browser on your system. Here is your screen that you can navigate between multiple applications. Here's your advanced or your navigation buttons that allows you to move through the screen. Here's your advanced keys that allows you to enhance the capability so that it's not just a basic calculator. And here's your numeric keypads. To access the emulator online, click the emulator button. And here is the actual working calculator that you can navigate through the different apps. Hit OK to select an app hit OK button to select the app then you can press the keys 6 times 5 equals 30 so it is a working calculator there's the return key which basically would do in this particular instance as the home button because the last place was the home key but OK takes me back to that location let's say that I want to go up and I can clear that out so that I can start over so if I want to say 8 times 9 and I didn't hit the times 9 equals and there's my 72 so the, it's an actual working emulator here the thing I like about the emulator or simulator is you can actually download it to your system by clicking the download emulator but let's take a look at the manual there's an online manual that you can click like the introduction and you can read through the introduction or you can click through any of the sections like function or calculator and read through the online manual you can actually access it as a PDF file so that you can actually download the PDF file onto your system by right clicking hit save link as to download the user manual so that if you don't have access to the internet now you might say well this is an online emulator well you can actually download this emulator and let me show you I'll go into my applications folder I created a folder called Numeworks, and here's the zip file that you would be downloading I downloaded it into this folder now here you can say extract the files within the zip file but before I do you double click here's the three files the simulator HTML the background JPEG and the Java script that allows it to work on your system so you think after you extract it can delete the zip file but then you double click the simulator link to open up the calculator in a browser on your system so you can open it up in this case is Firefox and if you look in the URL bar this is coming from my computer not the internet but it's a working calculator you can go through here and select whatever on your screen Hit OK and if I wanted to go six times five equals and it's really much faster responsive from the actual simulator on your desktop rather than the one that was actually on the website so it's a working calculator that will work straight from your computer but let me quit let's now focus back on the online emulator here you I've got the different parts of the sections of the calculator your navigation section your advanced function section and your numeric section it has a wonderful tutorial section that you can click calculation functions and it will show you a brief description along with a video of each section so that you can learn and for educators not only other tutorials but you have your classroom resources that helps your students understand or learn algebra precalculus calculus and statistics so it's wonderful both students and teachers alike now let me minimize the browser I have it in my applications menu education and I click on new works now instead of opening up an actual application that I've installed it's actually opening up my Vivaldi browser without the URL bar so that it looks like an installed application but this is working straight across the internet and accessing the simulator here I can navigate through the different apps and then I can hit OK to select the app so if I wanted to go six times five equals and there's the answer of 30 if I wanted to go back up then if I wanted to clear that out I could go back and say like six times nine instead of five equals in case I hit the wrong button if I was looking and made a mistake so it works as your typical calculator as again these are your navigation buttons these are the 
advanced button so if you wanted to access any of the yellow keys you'd use the shift key and then the yellow key like alphabet I go shift alpha hit a letter and that brings up the alphabet if I wanted to use the alphabet mode without the full screen you know the looking at the capital letter I would just press the alpha by itself the black button pressing the alphabet and hitting the seven is the small letter M so the alphabet with the capital alphabet is shift alpha the lowercase is just by pressing the alphabet key just by itself now if I don't press the alphabet key again it's going to give me the number seven because I'm no longer in alphabet mode and it continues to do that the way I put it in alphabet mode let me go back and clear all of this I press the alphabet key twice and notice what happens in the upper section alphabet one is alpha alpha again locks it in so I don't have to keep pressing alpha for each letter so in this case I say like M N O B so I can go out of alphabet mode by clicking the alpha again and it takes it out of alphabet mode so this allows you the alphabet mode clicking it one time puts you in alphabet mode clicking it twice locks it in the third time takes it back out of alphabet mode the shift key allows you to use any of the functions that you see that are written in yellow now here is your toolbox the toolbox is, has a lot of functions pre built with inside of them and you can navigate through your functions and you have some sub menus where you have additional functions uh, so it's piled full of commands and functions like if I wanted to look at the absolute value I hit OK if I wanted the absolute value of negative 8 it shows me that the answer is 8 so you've got a lot of functions built in within the key uh, within the calculator here let me go back to the previous screen as you can see here that does the same thing as the home button in that particular instance now this is a, the graphing calculator like I said that's working straight across the internet you can actually purchase the calculator but before you do there's a link at the very bottom that allows you to take a look at the tangible one that you could be purchasing by clicking the open calculator it goes through a nice little graphical simulation here showing you how to open it up it's stylish and elegant you can go through here and get more information it shows you your navigation key your advanced function your numeric keypad and it gives you additional information down below so it is a wonderful website to teach you how to use the calculator and to uh, if you like it eventually purchase the calculator so this is an emulator that will work on any operating system whether it's Windows Mac Linux or Android so if you like the new Merck's calculator uh, give it a try and if you decide that you ever want to purchase one you can use the link on the website to purchase one of these calculators hopefully this video has been helpful to you and have a great day